The century-old McMillan sand filtration site, with its 20 underground cells, once served an important function, purifying drinking water for the District of Columbia. The water would come in, filter down through the sand, get collected, and then distributed to the residents to drink. It hasn't done that in a long time. The site was decommissioned in 1986, but still, it has stood the test of time. Yeah, it's fascinating as an engineer to, to go in and see uh, the results of the construction that was done, you know, over 100 years ago. Uh, these things were built in the late 1800s, early 1900s, and to see that the condition that they're in now, uh, those fellows back in the day knew what they were doing. Kevin Williams is the project manager for DC Water, which is now repurposing the McMillan site for another important job. One of the cells, cell number 14, will be used to store storm water during severe rains to prevent it from reaching the flood-prone neighborhoods of Bloomingdale and LaDroit Park. And the cell will hold about three million gallons, so that's, that's three million gallons that won't hit Bloomingdale all at one time when the storm hits. Crews have already removed the tons of sand that covered the floor of cell 14. They've also dug down 25 feet below North Capitol Street to reach an existing storm sewer. Standing here in the middle of North Capitol Street, uh, which as you can see by the vehicles around us, is a pretty high traffic uh, road. So we're trying to get in and out of here as quickly as possible. When you look down at the bottom of the hole, you can see the existing North Capitol storm sewer, uh, the large, very large pipe that runs right down the middle of it. Now work is underway to connect the storm sewer with cell 14 through another pipe. I think you saw the, the smaller pipe in the structure out there. It, it runs all the way through here. That's the, that's the diversion sewer, we call it. And from there, it'll come into this sump, and then it'll just uh, flow up into the cell. A gate will redirect storm water into the cell until it's at capacity, filling every nook and cranny with water. Then, when the rains subside, the water will drain back out the same way it came in and will be conveyed through the sewer system to be treated at Blue Plains. For more information about this project and other efforts to control flooding, visit dcwater.com Bloomingdale.